Releasing control and giving it to God is one of the hardest things I've had to deal with. Like it's okay to follow his word. It's okay to follow his teaching. But certain things, I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I could do that. Like we just came through this storm, barrel, and it knocked down almost every neighbor fence next door to me, knocked off some siding on the house, pushed over some fence, all types of different little things. Power was out. And I was like, I am not in control. So going through it, I was just walking around like, what can I do? What can I do? My wife was sleeping. The kids were sleeping. And I was just finding myself up and see, just trying to figure out what's the next step. But going through those storms, I was just thinking to myself like, or I heard my wife tell me like, the reason why you were so antsy is because you were trying to be in control and you had no control over what was going on outdoors. You just had to bunker down and stay put. And that was the hardest thing for me to do. But after that, it caused me stress pains and my head was hurting, now having these migraines and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And then I started thinking as I was going through the days, like it's because I'm just thinking constantly subconsciously about things I cannot control, things I cannot fix. And I had to release the power, the control to the Lord above and knew that he had a greater plan for me. I had to go through that storm to be able to discover that I had a control issue, which granted, I already kind of figured that out, but I didn't think it was that bad. So I guess what I'm saying is releasing the control. It may be hard, but you can ask the Lord above. And sometimes he's always willing to show you and put you in circumstance, allow circumstances to come into your life, to be able to help you and help train you up for any season that you may be going through. A lot of us think we are in control financially. We're in control physically. We have the house, we have the cars, we have the bank accounts filled up. We are living frugal, we're living how we're living. And we're just like, I'm saving. and I have something put away for a rainy day. But in the blink of an eye, all that could change. In the blink of an eye, you could be homeless and at a shelter somewhere looking for, seeking for covering. Just because your life is going well right now doesn't mean it's always going to be like that. But you can always trust in the Lord to get you through to the next situation, help you while you're going through that situation, and always know that when you release the control, you know that it is up to the Lord's will for your life. And it's a much comforting position to be in when you're just releasing the wheel and letting him guide you to where you need to go. Because when we try to do it in our own strength, when we try to focus our mind on how to do this and how to do that and what I should do in this situation, it just stresses us out and give us unwanted migraines. I just wanted to share that on today. Hope you stay blessed. Hope this message reached you and you were touched by it and it helped 